What's up, brothers? Hope everyone's doing well out there. I wanted to come out here today to shoot the shit with you guys about approaching women. Now, this isn't typically a subject that I would really care to talk about. You know, it's kind of surface level. But I understand there's a lot of guys... Mosquito. And ain't no way I'm going to edit that out. Peak confidence, peak masculinity. We keep it all in there. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about was approaching women. Because I understand there's a lot of guys out there that really struggle with this. And I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips that can make it fun and easy. Because, I don't know, it seems like a lot of the modern dating advice out there kind of makes it awkward and makes it seem a lot more difficult than it really is. Anyways, I'm going to get straight into it. You know, and the first tip is sort of a mindset shift that can change the way you view the whole interaction. And the first tip is you want to be respectful. I know a lot of you guys might think, well, that sounds kind of dumb. Isn't your goal to seduce her and try to get in her pants? Look, if that's your goal, okay, cool, whatever. But being respectful is still the best way of going about it. Now, why does this make it easier? Well, because according to the nature of respect, you're supposed to acknowledge other people. So, if you see a woman that clearly spent hours getting ready, it is an act of respect for you to talk to her, to acknowledge her existence, to introduce yourself, and just speak to her. You know, I learned this when I was a kid. When we had guests over, you know, an aunt came from out of state. Grandma and grandpa came over. Mom's friends from work came over. I was taught to be respectful and come out of my room and acknowledge their existence. Shake their hands, say hello, you know, small talk for a couple of minutes, and then I can go back to my room. But it's disrespectful just to ignore people. And that's how you want to approach women. Okay, when you see a woman that you're attracted to, whether this is, you know, a, a random encount, uh, encounter that you're never going to experience again, or whether it's a woman in a controlled setting like the workplace or the gym or, you know, somewhere where you see the same faces all the time, okay? Whether you approach that person right now or it takes you six months to get to them, you should eventually approach that person. And the longer you wait, the more awkward it gets. And for all of you guys out there that have had your eyes on a lady, maybe it's a lady at the gym, you've been eyeballing her for six months and never talked to her, well, here's what you want to do. You want to walk up to her and say, hey, I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I've met to getting around to introducing myself, but I just haven't got to it yet. My name's so-and-so. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Be respectful about it. You know, you don't have to be corny and cheesy and use a pickup line with hopes of seducing her and getting her to like you. Look, your demeanor, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you present yourself, it's going to speak for itself. Okay, you don't, have to, you don't have to put some stupid pickup line on it. It's the nature of respect. You're just acknowledging this person's existence. And a lot of times, women will just take a liking to you. You know, and that's the best way of going about it. When you just approach somebody respectfully, you just speak to them like a normal person, and the chemistry's there. You know, that's, that's a great situation. And that's what you want to be in. You don't want to be approaching like, you know, approach to lay type shit. You know, because now we're getting into the nature of disrespect. You don't know if she's married. You don't know if she has zero attraction to you and she's about to report you. You don't know. You know, so it's good to be respectful when you approach a woman. Whatever. I know a lot of people might disagree with that, but for me personally, that's gotten me great results. Now, tip number two. 
This is another one that you don't hear a lot in the manosphere. But be humble. Why do you want to be humble? Because not every woman likes you and not every woman wants to have sex with you. That's just a fact. I don't care how much of a giga chad you are, how much game you have, this is part of life. Not every woman wants to have sex with you. So when you respectfully approach a woman, you introduce yourself, just like a normal gentleman. Sometimes you have to read the room. Okay, sometimes the woman doesn't want to talk to you. You know, a lot of pickup artists will tell you, well, you know, ask open-ended questions and chip away and try to win her over. I don't think that's a great idea. You know, I think you should be humble enough to walk away and understand that not everyone likes you. You're not everyone's cup of tea. And look, when you possess these two traits, when you're respectful and you're humble, and you politely introduce yourself to people, you acknowledge people's existence, if they choose to not like you, you know, if they choose to be like just totally avoidant of you, you have nothing to worry about. You have a clear conscience. You did the right thing. You were, you were civil, polite, and courteous. You were respectful. You were confident. You acknowledged their existence. And now they're shitting all over you. Not your problem. It's not your problem. You can move on with dignity and talk to other people. But... You have to be respectful and you have to be humble. Now I know a lot of people, especially in the pickup artist side, uh, side of things, will tell you, instead of being humble, they kind of tell you the opposite. You know, be cocky and funny and almost arrogant, right? And there is a time and a place for that. Okay, when you're drunk at the club or something of that nature, like, or you know, really in any setting, when somebody knows you, it's good to show that cocky side. It is. But at the same time, when you don't know people, when you're just kind of meeting people, it's probably not the best approach. You know, you can be confident, but you want to be humble. You know, you want to have that trick up your sleeve that you're kind of the, uh, you're the clean one of the two. You know, you're not the, the vulgar and dirty one. You're the one that has the right of way. You know, you want to you want to you want to always have that trick up your sleeve. But anyways, when you apply those two tips, you never have anything to worry about. You know, you never have to worry about being awkward because it's awkward for you to not approach women. It's disrespectful for you to not approach women. And when you're humble, you know, you have the sense of being outcome independent. You understand that the world doesn't revolve around you. Not everybody wants to have sex with you. And if she doesn't want to have sex with you, it's not your problem. Okay, as a matter of fact, you know, there's billions of people in this world. The percentage of people in this world that want to have sex with you is so unbelievably low, <laughs> even if you're attractive. But there's no point in even factoring that in. Just introduce yourself. Be cool. You know, and like I said, if it's somebody that you've had your eyes on for X amount of time, because I know when a lot of you guys watch this video, that's where you're coming from. There's a specific girl that you have in mind that you've been wanting to talk to and you just haven't done it yet. You got to break the ice and you got to make it normal. So that's why I say you just approach her and you say, Hey, I've been meaning to introduce myself for like the last six months. And I kind of feel like a jackass because I haven't got to it yet. But anyways, my name's LFA. Nice to meet you. You know, you got to break the ice somewhere and make it not awkward. And make it fun and easy. Most women are looking to dance with a man who knows how to make it fun and easy. If it's forced and awkward, they're not going to feel you. You know how women say, like, the energy has to be right. What they mean is you make it fun and easy for both of you. 
it's not awkward it's just normal anyways guys I hope this video was somewhat informative to you but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off that's about it for today guys until next time see ya